In a fight to preserve Weymouth's natural state, constituents joined forces with their state officials at Representative Murphy's The Unity Against the Compressor Station event at the Abigail Adams State Park. Spectra Energy, a Houston-based energy company, plans to expand its Algonquin and Maritime pipelines through the North Weymouth community as a means to meet their increasing natural gas demand. What looks to be a long road ahead does not deter Representative James Murphy from moving Weymouth to Spectra's list of alternative sites. Persistence pays off. Things don't happen overnight. It's not a one or two meeting project and all of a sudden you walk away, everything will be okay. Unifying events like today is exactly what the town needs. Having something like this gets the attention of uh, the state administration to help us in that battle with this federal agency that we're uh, up against here. Being a member of the Quincy delegation, you know, I work very closely with Representative Murphy, and uh, it's an important issue, I think, for the whole South Shore. So to come down to Weymouth this morning and show that we're united at the State House fighting against this, I think is very important. Located just behind me, as you can see, is the basin of the Four River Bridge here in North Weymouth, which is the proposed site for the compressor station. Although the Spectra Energy Company says that it would not pose a threat to the environment or to the well-being of the residents here in Weymouth, many locals today seem to disagree. If there was to be a compressor station here, I think the home values would definitely go down. They are loud. They produce benzene, which causes cancer. Um, it would definitely just be a public health hazard. The health impacts of a compressor station or any industry or business of that matter really means a lot to me because I'm concerned about my children's health. To put this type of a compressor station down in that area just, just complexes the whole matter. We don't like what's down there now. This only adds to it. Representative Murphy is determined to uphold Weymouth resident Mary Toomey's fight to keep Weymouth beautiful. And I promise her, even as a candidate, that I would continue what she started years ago along with my friends here in government. That's a promise I continue to keep today. But why exactly does Spectra want to come to Weymouth? It's a matter of financing and this is the cheaper way out. It's easier if they put it near their lines rather than in a different location. Although FERC has never denied the assembly of a compressor station on any site in the past, Town Councilor Becky Haw remains optimistic. Three. I want us to be the ones who finally make our federal government finally stand up and say no for the people. So this isn't about what Weymouth or the South Shore is today or tomorrow. This is what we want our town to be 100 years from now when our kids and our grandkids still live in our community. And they'll look back and they'll say, you know what, I'm glad our parents and grandparents didn't give up and just walk away from an issue like a compressor station. In turning for Representative James Murphy from the Massachusetts State House, I'm Shauna Newcomb.